Hello my crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're staying healthy and crafty as well. And if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Karina. I love to paper craft and also to organize my crafty supplies. So if you're interested in watching this type of content, just keep on watching. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and tap that bell so you can get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you very much for your support. And in today's video, since Valentine's Day is coming up, I want to share with you an outgoing swap that I put together. I participated in a swap hosted by Tamara uh, from Urban Foragers in Instagram. And I'm going to show you the swap that I put together. And we were required to make like a loaded pocket with a sequin mix and rosettes or bows and also like a store gift item as well. So all the talented ladies, if you want to even watch more videos, not only my video, but also all the other amazing crafters that participated in this amazing Valentine's swap, just go ahead and um, follow um, Tamara and all the ladies in Instagram and Tamara uh, Urban Foragers. Um, she has a YouTube channel and, and you can just watch all the reveals. It's just, just like phenomenal. Uh, a lot of uh, inspiration and talent. So, okay, enough of the talking. So let's go ahead and flip the camera so you can watch what I sent out. And also, I just want to wish everyone a lot of love and peace and health. Today, on Valentine's Day, and always. Hello my crafty friends, welcome back. So here I am um, showcasing um, what I put together for a Valentine's Day pocket swap hosted by Tamara in Instagram. So this is what I put together. I had so much fun uh, putting everything together, but let me show you first the cards. So I made these Valentine cards and I used the Simple Story Sweet Talk collection. So these cards are super, um, I want to say, um, kind of cutesy. And I didn't use my metal dies for these. I just used the stickers from the collection. I also use the felty hearts from Dollar Trees and some loose ephemera that I had and some trims that I from my stash. So this is the first one. The second one is this one and I love this one, the sloth. And this one, you are my perfect match. And I just love this panda. So cute. So these are the four cards that will go to the um, recipients of the swap. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pocket, loaded pocket. So I'm going to come closer and I am filming right now at, at night so my light might not be that great, but let me see. Okay, so I put together these pocket with no dies. I don't have a die for pockets and I've been watching a couple of YouTube videos here and there so I just decided to um, put together this one and as you can see I have uh, my logo and then on the back I'm just gifting you know some stickies from L Studios um, and on the front I stitch one piece of the sweet talk uh, collection from simple stories so these wire wrap beat it's not from me uh, so i'm using my stash i received in december um a uh a swap from um shannon so hey i'm passing these along so this came so cute and then i used these uh trim that i had in my stash this is from walmart Again, these hearts are are like felty stickers from Dollar Tree. I stitch them. And then it contains the bows, 
this is like that specialty paper from Hobby Lobby both of them and I two bows and these are the rosettes as you can see the rosette I included that glittery rosette from Dollar Tree and I had these uh, heart shaped uh, wooden um, piece from probably a couple of years ago and I ended up um, dyeing it with this. This is a color theory color spray. I bought this at Studio Calico so I did that so because these these shapes are like you know wood color so okay I dyed them then I also put together, I showcased this in my Instagram account, where these are uh, recycled um, tags from one of my local um, um, stores here. Um, and I had, I stitched it with this fabric, this fabric that I got from one of my also local stores. She gave me a, I'll show you what she gave me. Um, She gave me these um, kind of like samples for um, fabric. So for free, I'm like, I didn't have to buy it. So I used one of the uh, fabric pieces and put together these again, Dollar Tree. And I had these sentiments from one of my previous um, stickies, you know, um, and here. Again, I'm using Dollar Tree stuff that I bought. And if you want to see my Dollar Tree haul, I will link that video in the description box below. So do you remember that I got these hearts that I saw uh, from Patty, one of Patty's videos, Mommy and Me Crafts. And I'm like, how can I use these, right? So one idea is like you can create flags or use them as ornaments, but I bought this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous um, trim from Anthropology. This was just like kind of like Christmas theme and they had like a big sale. So I'm like, I'm going to give away this trim. So I'm, I'm planning to also do my packaging and using so I don't, you know, I don't have this bulky. So I just decided to wrap and give some trim, you know. And then we were required also to send... Um, Second mixes from different shapes. So I, if you can see, there's like lips, there's different clay beads and sequin mixes. And I had this trim, Amour, uh, that's uh, love in French. And I glue it. And then these jemmy that I got at my haul. Again, if you want to see that haul, it's in the video, in the link uh, in the description box below. So... We're supposed to um, either handmade or give away, you know, like a store bought stuff. So I'm just giving, you know, a couple of things because these these ones are, you know, didn't I didn't pay that much for these. <laughs> so I'm just giving them these things. And then I I am in this um, kind of like inspired um uh, doing flip books or junk journals. I just love it. I've been watching so many videos. So I put together four of these um, mini albums and I will show you um, them to you. So these are bound um, and they are like so cute. Again, the ephemera, everything was in my stash. I stitch everything and then I had this um, trim and here we go um, I still have to like add more of the loose ephemera that I have so but I'm just showing you guys before I package and put more things so I have this heart shape uh, paper clip and I had this mini tassel and that is holding another ephemera piece and then here's more and I will be filling this up and you know more ephemera and I just love the span panda and yeah so I just have to fill 
you know, with more stickers and things like that. So I'm definitely going to be doing this before I package and wrap. But I just want you to see um, what I put together. And of course, I have to put here, I have a stamp. Um, I have a stamp, which I have to stamp, you know, all my stuff. So, so I think this turned out super cute. So for all the other um, packages, they're similar. They're similar, um, the same components, um, you know, the, the flippy books or mini junk journals are quite different. This is, I think I, I loaded this one with more stuff. So I still, um, let's see, I know, I just love it. I love stitching, so yeah, each one is very unique. Yeah, this one is loaded, and look at this. I got this um, trim. It's like a sticky trim um, at a Scrapbook Superstation, which is one of my scrapbook stores here in Butler, PA, and another heart shape with mini tassels. So in other words, I am just using what I have right now, my stash. The only new thing is just the paper because I didn't have this collection, but... Um, I am just loving it. I, I had so much fun putting these, I want to call them, um, well, flip books or mini junk journals, Valentine's junk journals. They're like so stinking cute. I hope they like them. And let me show you the other ones. Yeah, so again, this whole thing, all the rosettes and the both are the same, so I don't want to get things confused here. I definitely will will arrange this off camera. This other one, um, this one had a. I'm sorry, I didn't show the the pocket. Another wire wrapped wired wrap bead by uh, Shannon, and that I got in December in our swap other one and where is the, oh here it is this this is on the panda that I show you guys then another one I have here the um, koala this is like so stinking cute and the last one is I believe is the world yeah the world I think this one is fully loaded. I can't remember. I still have to go through through each one and, and, and just put all the ephemera that I had left from this collection. Definitely, uh, I don't have. I just got the papers and and yeah, it, each one is very unique, as you can see. Very unique. Different. This one doesn't have the. Oh, yeah, it has that. Some they don't have the doilies and things like that. So I just have so much fun putting the, this together. And just let me know if you want to see a process video on how to put these mini albums or mini junk journals or mini flip books. They're super easy to put together. Um, once you get, you know, all your papers set up, it's just a matter of, of um, binding them. And the binding thing is not a scary part because... I use these, um, you know, you can use a thread or, um, you know, like kind of a heavy thread. Um, so it, it turned out super cute and they're super cute. I know I'm saying the word super cute all the time, but um, they can even like put photos, mini photos, two by three photos, you know, and if they want to record a day with their loved one, you know, their spouse, boyfriend, uh, partner, you know, or kids or grandkids it is just it's just gonna be super cute and super nice so again if you want to watch a process video on how I put together this mini um, junk journal Valentine's junk journal let me know down in the comments below again if you like this video just don't forget to give the thumbs up share this video with any of your friends and family and if you haven't done so and would like to be subscribed and would like to 
uh, watch these type of contents, you know what to do. Just click the subscribe button and tap that bell so you can get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you very much for watching my crafty friends and see you in my next video. Bye.